Hi everybody, I'm coming here today to give you another prediction video. Today, I'm going to be predicting the Colorado Buffaloes versus the Nebraska Cornhuster video. Like I always do, I go on both sides of the ball. So first, I'm going to talk about the Nebraska Cornhuskers and then I'm going to end with Colorado. Then after that, I will make my prediction on who is going to win the game. So first starting out, we're going to have the defense of Nebraska. So I'm going to talk briefly about all four sides of both teams. So Nebraska's defense last year was pretty good coming in at in the top 20 to 30 on defense and also they're bringing back many players that they had on the last year's team and now that they got a year under their belt they're more experienced and they played well in this first game so I believe that their defense that was good last year I think they're going to be even better this year more improved so now we're going to talk about their offense. Now they got some new additions to the team. They got to recruit a five-star, highly um, real talented recruit in Dylan Riola, the quarterback. And he got that prototypical size and arm strength and throwing accuracy. He's a very good freshman quarterback so I think that with him and I think the offensive line although they played very well last year I think still they need to improve a little bit more better protection for um, Dylan but I think overall they did a good job in the first game of the season this year now their receivers there they was pretty good they got Decent receivers, one that Dylan always liked to throw to and connect to what he did in the first game of the season. So, I think that their offense in running game is pretty decent. So, I think during the course of the year, they're going to have a pretty good team and be able to be competitive in a lot of games more than in the past. So overall, Nebraska has a really good team, really good improved team. And at the top is the quarterback that leads the team. They needed this quarterback. They finally got a legitimate quarterback that can read defenses and make plays and improvise and got a good arm and good size. So Nebraska finally got a good quarterback that is going to help them improve on their offensive side of the ball. So now we're going to the Colorado. In the Colorado, I'm going to start out with their defense and then end with their offense, and then I'm going to make my prediction. Now, the Colorado defense is, I, I feel, is probably could be in a, probably the top 11 and top 10, but I think they probably more realistically is in the top 30 and top 20, just like Nebraska's defense. But I, I believe Nebraska's defense is a little bit better, more more disciplined and more, more developed and more experienced at a lot of key positions. But this Colorado defense, I, I feel that it improved some from last year from what I can tell from game one. But I still say that they got, although some key dynamic positions um, on the defense in the secondary, which is um, cornerback Travis Hunter and Shiloh Sanders at safety, I still say the other pieces are like pieces that can be exploited by some offenses that got more than one a, a good rod receiver and a good quarterback like um, Nebraska got in Dylan Rayola. 
So, I say that their pass rush in the trenches is okay. I, I don't think that they really have, like, upper end talent to really get good pass rush consistently to a lot of teams. So, I think they might have to improvise with blitzing some to get pressure on the quarterback and maybe get some sacks. Yes, particularly in this game, they're going to need to get pressures and sacks because the um, Raiola is a good quarterback, even though he's a freshman. He still can uh, carve you up, carve your defense up. So I say Colorado at some key positions, they'll be able to maybe stop some of the deep passes that Nebraska might try to uh, do, try to throw. But overall, I just feel with um, lack of a really entrenched uh, defensive front four, I think that that Nebraska probably could move the ball a little bit on, on their front four and their linebackers. I think that's where Colorado's weakness is at. It's in um, the trenches and at their linebacker play. So we're going to move on to Colorado's offense, which is dynamic and explosive. One of the best, if not the best, I say one of the best in all of college football this year in 2024 season. With Shador Sanders at the quarterback, a very elite quarterback and is considered to be one of the uh, top picks in this up-and-coming NFL draft. He's either going to be the first pick off the board or possibly in the top three or top four. I believe right now, going into the season, he's probably the most talented quarterback of all the quarterbacks, although it can be some um, debate on that. But um, nevertheless, he's elite. He's an elite quarterback and experience going into a senior year. So with Shador Sanders at quarterback, and then you got Travis Hunter also playing wide receiver in at his height and his speed and his talent and, and abilities makes for an explosive um, dual uh, threat at quarterback and at wide receiver. And then you got Jason Horn Jr., which is a threat in himself. Now, if you, Totally concentrate on Travis Hunter. He can beat you. He can thread the defense. And then they got a very good transfer running back from Ohio State, which um, he's a very good running back. And he also can get some good plays off of you if you don't come up in the box and, and get him. So... I think this is going to be a very exciting game. And I think that it might be a mid-range scoring game. I don't know how many points is going to be scored in this game, but I best be assured it's going to be some scoring in this game. I know some people say that it would be better for Nebraska to have a low-scoring game. But with um, that explosive offense of Colorado, I don't think so. Colorado is going to put up at least 30 points in this game. Because I don't think Nebraska's defense is going to be able to consistently through four quarters stop them from scoring at least 30 or more um, plus points. So Nebraska is going to have to match the scoring. But I think with this home crowd, that gives them an extra boost. So with that being said, I'm going to make my prediction pick. I'm going to say that being that is in Lincoln, Nebraska, in front of a um, good size hostile crowd at noon, and I think Nebraska has got something to prove from last year's loss to Colorado in a rivalry game because this game is a, a good, true rivalry game going back to the Big East days. I I think that in um, 
I mean, uh, excuse me, the big 12, the big eight days. Now, and then it became the big 12 conference. But they they had uh, long rivalries way back then. So I think with Colorado and Nebraska, this is going to be, be a very in, inclusive and exciting game to watch. So with that being said, I'm going to choose and predict that Nebraska will win the game over Colorado. It's going to be a very exciting game, good to watch. And I believe at the end, Nebraska will pull off the victory. They will get revenge on last year's game. So that will do it for this week's prediction. And I will thank you. Once again, I'll do prediction videos for um, all of um, or uh, mostly all of the college football games. That's big games, the most explosive games. in the most uh, um, high um, quality games. So be looking out, looking forward to my next prediction. So for now, I thank you guys for joining in. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, g -Shon Entertainment. Also, make a comment if you like my prediction or you have your own prediction. Make a comment. Share this video. Like this video, and to the next video, everybody have a good day. Take care.